The AKA G selector can be finicky because it relies on many different parts to mesh together correctly. Today I want to show you why the retro arm selector fixes some of these problems. First let's take a look at a stock AK selector. So you have the selector itself, you have the mounting screw, and you have the bracket that fits into the selector screw itself. So that's four different parts that you need to mesh together correctly in order for the selector to work. In comparison, this is the retro arm selector. Now this only has two parts, the selector itself and the mounting screw. We'll look at the mounting screw first. As you can see, it has a Torx head, so this makes it much easier to dissemble and maintain your AK. Now with the selector itself, you can see here on the right that the bracket is actually built into the selector, meaning that you don't have to fiddle around and try and align stuff because it's built into the selector itself, meaning that it's much easier to fit everything and put it back together. So here's the retro arm selector mounted to an LCT AK, and as you can see it fits with no problems. It also comes with a shelf which makes it easier to uh, take the safety off with your index figure. It's just another feature that it has that makes the retro arm selector better than stock. The only downside to this selector I would say is that it's not realistic in any way, but if you're looking for something to simplify your AK and make it easier to maintain and make it easier to take it off safe, this is a great option for you to choose.